want us to know is that uh, if you're listening and you've not been going for checkup, this is the time for you to make changes. This is the time for you to start seeing checkup as something that is important because one thing, uh, like I said earlier, Checkup will help to uh, make you uh, to improve your health status. That is your well-being will be on point. For elderly people, elderly people are more susceptible to diseases. So it is very important that we take our elderly ones. In case you have elderly people, take them often for checkup, so as to help them improve their health. Of course, you know sometimes we like ah these people are already old. What are they doing on earth? Yes, they are. Doing, they are still on earth. There's nothing you can do about it. So you still need to help them. There are many hours or days or years that they are spending on health we still need to provide good quality health care for them so it is important that we do medical checkup okay quickly uh during the course of the week uh, my correspondents they went around to interview people on this subject of checkup and um, i would love to hear the report from nifemi in Ogun State, she brought a report from there. Let's hear what uh, these people have to say concerning this issue. Okay, listeners, good afternoon to you. Over the X talk show is going around interviewing people on a medical checkup. We are in a Lafenwa area of Ogun State. So, want to know what medical checkup is and how often people go for checkup? I have a lady here with me. You are welcome. Good afternoon, madam. Good afternoon, ma'am. Can I meet you, ma? I'm Mrs. Ayening. Okay. Please, ma, I want to know how often you go for checkup, and then have you ever go for a checkup before? I went for checkup just once when I was pregnant. Okay, ma. So I want for just to do scan about the baby, how the baby is doing. Okay. And is the baby okay? And I myself am I okay also? That is why I went. So for that's checkup. just the only time you've gone for checkup. Yes, I've not been. gone for any uh, personal checkup, probably for your blood pressure or your sugar level or any other thing. No, 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 not that. So it was only when I was pregnant I went for checkup. Ah, okay, okay. So we've heard from uh, Mrs. Ayani. She said the only time she has gone for checkup is just during her pregnancy. That is to say, she has not always uh, been going for checkup. There is no personal checkup for her just during her pregnancy. I also have someone here with me. Good afternoon, sis. Good afternoon, ma. Can I meet you, ma? My name is Miss Kendi. Okay. Please, I would like to know your opinion on checkup. How often you go for checkup and reasons you've gone for checkup? I only go for checkup once. When was that, ma? Last year. Okay. Why? Because I was. I was having some runny stomach. My stomach was disturbing me, so I went to see a doctor, and the doctor told me that I have ulcer. Oh, so sorry about that. So, was there any other time you've gone for checkup aside this time you had ulcer? No. None? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Thank you so very much. I really appreciate it. Okay, to you listeners, from these two people I interviewed, we've been able to deduce that people mostly go for checkup when they have tangible reasons to do that. I think this is not very good. We should have checkup as frequent as possible, not only when we have this symptom in our body giving us issues or headache. That is when we think of visiting the clinic. That is when we think of going for checkup to know what is actually wrong with our body system. Mostly, we should go for checkup to know how well we are doing in our body system. Let's consider what Mrs. Hyenin said. She said she only went for checkup during her pregnancy to know how the baby is feeling and to know what some other things to do. And then the other lady told me she has only gone for checkup during the time she felt pain in her stomach. So we've been able to gather from people now that the only time we go for checkup is when we have one health issue or the other. Now, in order to be conscious of this, in order to advert this evil of uh, collapsing, we should go for regular checkup to know how our body is fearing. From Ogun State, once again, I am Oluwani Femi reporting for TikTok Show. Okay, thank you so much, uh, Nifemi, for that report from Ogun State. Um, just like we had, uh, you know, <laughs> the people they interviewed, you know, they only went for checkup when there's issues, when there's um, uh, compulsion to do that. Because that is why most times I hear people complain about... Uh, Hospitals, 
um i i would like to mention some hospitals in, in nigeria you know yeah people say things like and uh, when if you go there now especially when special issues happen and they expect this emergency of course there's a state for emergency you know you said you, you a lot of people try to be like ah if we go there now they will tell us to start doing tests it's tests that we do till the person dies see the truth is this assuming you've been going for checkup there will be no issues like that even if it will occur it will be at the barest <laughs> minimum okay it will be very very low like very very the chances will be very very low the chances of running ether scatter as a result of earth challenge will be low and that is why it's very important to go for medical checkup it is very important number one it will help to determine your earth status number two it will decrease the rate of death your susceptibility to death will be reduced number three Number three is that it will help you to detect disease in its early stage. In case there's something wrong with you, with your health, or something going on in your body that you don't know, it will give you information so that work can be done on it to prevent further complications. And that is why we need to go for checkup. Checkup has been, oh my, checkup has really been ignored, especially in this country that we have we don't we just have this mentality that nothing will be wrong with of course we should have this mentality that nothing should be wrong but before you must note that uh, prevention is better than cure there are some primary prevention that uh, is being carried out we have the primary prevention primary prevention is majorly immunization that they do for example recently there was this immunization that they conducted in this part of the world nigeria i don't know if other states got it but you know your state it was very it was done there was this immunization that they did for uh, for us for uh, against yellow fever i don't know if anyone here partook of that please and please if you've not i don't know when it will be happening in your state but please ensure you uh, register yourself for immunization in a case in cases whereby they say there's immunization for something make yourself available to to get it don't say i am uh you don't don't like taking injection it's not painful just take it it's for your health it's for the state of your health prevention is better than cure so we need to emphasize on this and that is why we are bringing this enlightenment to us on our program today that please and please if you've not been going for checkup this is the time for you to change that once again thank you so much nifemi for that report from Ogun State, and of course, I have her joining me on the program from Ogun. Nifemi, you are welcome. I'm so happy to have you on the show today. Okay, we take a short break now. We'll be right back on the program for the continuation, and of course, I'll be getting report from Akintomi, Lagos State, on this subject of medical checkup. Don't go away, please. <laughs> Sit back, sit relax, back. and enjoy the remaining parts of today's program. Are you just joining us on the program? You are welcome. And you're presently live on Sea Talk Show. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the remaining parts of today's program. Okay, welcome back. And um, before we get the report from Akintomi, I would like to throw this question to my listeners out there. How far medical checkup? What's your view on medical checkup? Uh, when last did you go for medical checkup? And are you ready to make a change in case you've not been doing that? So please, if you're live with me, I would love you to drop your response. When last did you go for medical checkup? Uh, what is your view on medical checkup? Uh, and um, if you've not been going for any, do you feel, have you been convinced enough to know why you should go for medical checkup? I'm respecting the response, please. If you're live with me on the show, please drop your response on the program. Okay, we take the, uh, the uh, you know, the report from Akin told me on this subject of checkup from Lagos State. All right, listen, now the talk show is around since every people across Lagos State are quite to be precise. And we'll be asking people about their opinion on medical checkup. We know most times people tend to create um, themselves medications when they are feeling ill or anything. So we'll be going around to hear from people if going to the hospital for checkup is good or not. Good afternoon, ma. Good afternoon. Ma, what's your name? 
can you say, Sister Okuru? Okay. Okay, ma, I have some questions for you. Have you ever visited the hospital before for checkup? Yes. Okay, when last did you go to the hospital for checkup? Last three months. Last three months. Okay, what advice can you give to our listeners out there? Is it only when they have problem that's when they should go to the hospital or when? It is not good to go to hospital when you have problem. You have to go to hospital to check yourself because anything can occur at any time yes, due to what we eat. Okay, is that what you have for us, ma? Hmm? Is that what you have for us? Yes. Okay, all right. Thank you, ma. Thank, Thank you. 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 Thank Mrs. Van Cole, okay, I won't be ready to for you lost on you pay. She at the ever lost hospital in last Lusha. You okay, if I will let no last last Lusha. You last month, last month, okay. I'm on one when you pay me one man lost hospital. Timo Bassi, can you come walking? Come on, you're ready for my work. Okay, Jane Laura Prasta, my Jane, she fried me. Kinda the sofa when you don't go on quay, she got a bunny problem. You call your commander suspicious. She got a bunny problem. You call to read. I want to take a day. You do 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 do. I see me. My loss here, pay my loss. See much of that. Let's go. I need that to the Malavon Shako. Let me come. Okay, let me come. Let me come. Let me come. Let me come. Let Elle me voit nous sous Kujimo, bateau le vous cherche tout mon ouvre tout est coulé. Où comme à l'ouvrir, à ma gueule non j'ai ni à. Il me va en chien, à l'osos tout à test. Où tout est qu'on voit, elle me, on est, on est, elle me, il connaît, eh, connaît Balaramu. Où tout est coulé, connaît Bimas Queens, belle mère, à quoi le ralentir, à quoi le. Okay, All right, listeners, the very little from her two mommies. Mommy said she had, it's good to go to the hospital that she went for the last three months. And it is good to visit the hospital not only when you have problems. Then her second mommy also said she's a market woman and she said for those selling especially, they need to go to the hospital to check up themselves at least once in a month because you don't know what is going on in the body system. You can just feel okay, you are okay. And when you get to the hospital, the doctor will say something else. So you get it up from our two interviewers and from the two people we interviewed rather. And I'm a Kimolayo Hulua Tosin reporting for T Talk Show. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much for that report from the markets. Uh, markets women, uh, they said they visit, uh, you know, they visit the hospital for checkup. And just like the advice the interviewed uh, woman said, you know, she said that uh, as markets women, it's important that you go for checkup in order to prevent untimely death because, uh, you know, you don't know what's going on in your body. Uh, that is why it's important for you to go for checkup, to go for checkup because it's important that you live long and prosper so in order to get that done you can't prosper in the grave you can't do that which you want to do uh when you're faced or weighed down with sicknesses like hypertension so that is why it's very important for you to do check up to promote your health like i said earlier it's important that you do that to promote your health to detect diseases in its early stages or uh, to reduce the body uh, patients go through because the truth is that the test you refuse to do at the end of the day, when challenges or air challenges comes, you will be forced to go and do those tests. And with that, it will be a time of urgency. And if not <laughs> well attended to as fast as possible, it might lead to something that is not expected. And of course, uh, it is very important to go for checkups to establish an enhanced relationship between your doctor and you. And I'm advising that uh, there are primary preventions that the hospital sets in place, such as immunization. Please and please, in case you are being told about any immunization, Presently, there's an immunization that just finished, and that was the immunization against yellow fever. It happened in your state. I don't know about other states. So please and please, in case an immunization is announced, please go and 
go there even if you add even if they didn't come to your, to your area go to the healthcare center nearest to you to get your